welcome back guys um, so in our last video we came down here like this we brought the phone up we brought it down and then as we scroll these open like that so the next stage is if we come back to Apple if my browser wants to go there there we go uh, and then go like that and then what we want to do is this part here so we can see here we've got one phone in the middle and two on uh, on either side of it so let's uh, come back to our um, text editor and come down here and we can do this in this scene I think uh, iPhone text so yeah that's okay so so once that's finished which is the end here then we can start on the next part so let's come underneath here and let's see what we've called our things here so this is the phone that's in the middle right so at the moment in our CSS I have got this as display none so you can't see it obviously um, so first of all let's display it block so let's come let's just move it down the line so we can kind of see this timeline a bit easier so I'm gonna move it up as well so, and I'm gonna move it across as well there we go so set uh, what did I call it um, set iPhone stick so set um, iPhone I need to I keep doing that don't I iPhone stick and then we we're displaying none at the moment in our CSS so we want to go display and then block block okay now hopefully we'll be able to see this happen now fingers crossed there we go there it is yeah so that's cool so we'll come down here and then the next thing is we need to move the we need to make these disappear and um, our new phones come in now like I said earlier hidden behind each of these phones um, absolutely positioned is our new phone and then the same again on phone two so so they're they're hidden behind each phone so uh, let's see what I've called them we don't want to move the whole phone obviously this time we just want to move the uh, the actual image so I've given the image a class name here so let's come down and then um, that's not the right class that's not the right one is it I think it should be yeah this one and this one behind so let's come down here and then um, let's go to and then let's grab the let's copy let's grab this put that in there and then paste that and then don't forget the dot because I always do uh, and then let's give it our usual three seconder and then we need to tell it where to move to so I'm gonna say um, we need to move it across again so it's on the x-axis and I'm gonna try like 50% shall we 50% and then uh, we can duplicate this line and then iPhone and I think I would have called it yeah too so um, uh, also what we will need to do is do we need to move it back in the timeline? I don't think so. Let's let's have a look. Let's see what's happened. So let's go. Let's come down. Let's come down. Let's come down. And I've moved it the wrong way, haven't I? No, I haven't. Which one am I? What am I doing here? Oh, I see. So we're doing it right, but this one I've moved. The, yeah, I have moved it the wrong way. So minus fifty percent. Is that right or is it this one that's supposed to be minus oh this is confusing isn't it right let's see what happens now there yeah that's better again uh, no it's not no it's not we need to go completely other the other way 
Okay, so 50 and then minus 50 and then hopefully uh, that comes out and then that goes there and I've still done it wrong. What am I doing here? This is confusing. So this is iPhone 2, wasn't it? I think. And so that needs to push to 50%. Let's just see if that's right. So that's pushing to 50% now. That's correct. And then we want to pull this one back. So it should now, there we go, that's better. I don't know what happened there, that was weird. Uh, I'm just getting a bit confused. Okay, so uh, we can see that's happening, which is perfect, but again, it's not come, not doing it at the right timing. So what do we do? We come back here and we can say on this one, we wanna move this one back three seconds again. So let's go comma and then minus equals three and that will move it back three seconds so they should come together perfect okay so we also need to make uh, these two disappear I guess as well so um, these I've given uh, these are our let's just see yeah so these are our um, front images so let's come here and let's go to and then we can open up that and then let's grab our iPhone and it's one image and this is what we want to make fade out so if we go here and we go comma 0 0.3 because we need this to be qu a lot quicker because if we go back to Apple and then let's just see so yeah you see it fades out very quickly so we'll go 0 0.3 and then um, we want to give this an auto alpha of zero, I guess. So auto alpha, uh, alpha, alpha of zero. Okay. Um, and then, um, I think that's okay. Let's have a look. That's not ours. This one's ours. So let's come back and then come down and then, oh, well, it's fading out very quickly, isn't it? Let's go. 0.5 then and then what we also need to do is move it back in the timeline again don't we because it was shooting out too late so let's come back here and then see what happens so we go like that and then like that yay so that looks quite good um, and then again we can duplicate this line I'm going to bring this back so you can see it better duplicate this line and then um, let's just open this okay and then iPhone 2 image I've called it so now hopefully they will both fade out so there we go so that's that one and then that's that one yay that's working so we've got something wrong here we need to push them across a bit don't we more so let's come back and then iPhone let's just try 54% 54% and then um, let's go refresh and something's still not quite right, is there? So, uh, more iPhone, oh, do we need to move these back first, actually, 54%, 54%, because these are our main things. So let's just go back to 50 on these a second. Let's just see, let's just see. Yeah, that's better, so they're splitting apart more now. 54% and then to there, so that's good. Um, and then what's next? Let's go up here. Apple, so they come down like that and shoot across like that. And then our text needs to disappear, doesn't it? Because we've still got our text there. So um, let's come down here, underneath here like that and then um, two we need to say because it's uh, on an opacity of one at the moment and then we've got our text here haven't we so actually no let's not copy the line let's start let's do it let's do it like this so two and then what is it iPhone iPhone one text and then we can go uh, and then 0 0.3 again, I guess, like the top ones. And then we can say 
an auto alpha of zero. So, oh, not nine, of zero. So that's going to, it's coming from the original state of, of, an, of an opacity of one, and this is gonna take it down to zero. And then again, I think we're gonna have to move this back in the timeline, aren't we? So let's go minus equals three, uh, three. And then we can duplicate this line and then uh, iPhone 2 text, wasn't it? Okay, so let's just see what's happening. Um, so we're coming up, we're rolling down, we hit this point, and then our text disappears and these open. And yeah, so I, I think that's, what I've, I've missed out the text here, but I'm sure, you know, this give, give you guys a good idea of how it's working. And, you know, you can whack the text in on in your HTML or whatever, and then you would um, go from auto alpha of zero because there's just fades in, uh, and and it comes down a bit as well. So then you could put a bit of a a y axis of like three percent or something to to push it up or down. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I know ours isn't exactly the same as Apple's. It's not perfect, but again, um, I hope this will give you a good idea. Uh, if we shrink our window, hopefully it should be sort of responsive as well. So I haven't done any media queries or anything in our CSS, but yeah, so that's coming up. Yeah, cool. All right, guys. So yeah, um, thanks again to Gulnor for um, the idea of this. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all that malarkey. And yeah, cheers for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye.